I got all the opportunity I have, um, you know, have the very fortunate enough to study with the music professors and um, still get my music performed at the concerts in schools. And what I, what I know was that after, now when you're in school, you're actually in a very protected environment. And I, yeah. I, I know that once yes. I, I leave Absolutely. school, yes. So once you leave school, right, um, my, my professor Ian Kraus told, told everyone out into the real world, like you're out in the real world. Uh, there's no more sense of protection. Uh, things are getting really serious because uh, you have to pay back your college loan or like your loans and your you have to pay rent and um, I know the opportunity will become rather than having uh, opportunities performance opportunities come to you in your school concerts you know there's like parents weekend yeah. there's like so many opportunities to get your music performed parents weekend all these school events right now you're in the real world uh, it was very uh, intimidating, very, uh, very intimidating for me. So I, uh, most importantly was to maintain contacts with the people you, man, definitely you want to maintain contacts with the people that you uh, make friends with, uh, especially not just people in music, but people in other art art form photography yeah, yeah. like yeah photography mm -hmm. i have a very close friend a phot photography friend if you know people in theater that's the best um i do know of composers that they have very good partnership with dance like a dance uh, company so most of the most of the works are most of his works are focused on dance productions so if you have that kind of partnership um you are you are basically all set because they are uh, your friend is trying to build his your friend is trying to build a career on dan having dance production and you are, you are also on early stage you are also early stage composer he, he's trying he or she is trying to build a career you are also trying to build a career that's the best partnership that can go on for decades um, so definitely think about where new music is required uh, it can be like so many it can be video games dance productions theater theater they they're always dance and theater video games film definitely they are always looking for new music collaborations can happen uh collaborations can happen the least you expect it and the times that you actually try so you know sometimes you try really hard to have collaboration it doesn't happen and then the times that you're just like, oh, I don't think it's gonna happen. I just said, I just said hi, and yeah, and uh, you just read the and and yeah, it's and it's just amazing. Like the times that you don't try really hard, it could actually lead to a uh, outcome. And the time that you you really, you know, try to reach out to a conductor, you try to reach out to a conductor for a performance, it doesn't happen. So, um, just no hard feelings. Just uh, just try. Just keep trying and uh, no hard feelings. Some people, some people love to work with you. Great. Some people don't, you know, not, nothing happens. No hard feelings. Um, I was, uh, uh, one of my roommates, uh, the bassoon player, Susanna. Uh, so she got a position at Memphis, uh, Memphis uh, Symphony Orchestra, great orchestra. So I, I just uh, flew in. I've never visited Memphis, so I was visiting and after rehearsal, we were just like having drinks and I met a trombone player, Wes Lebo, and it was just like, you know, a, a, a drinks after rehearsal and we just, it's just a casual chat, you know, like, oh, you, you served in the Marines and he actually served in the military and I had some yeah. military background, so just a casual chat. Uh, oh, maybe, you know, I can write some trombone pieces for you next time. And, you know, I never see him after that. <laughs> so I flew back to Los Angeles, I flew back to LA, Los Angeles, and we never really keep in touch about this. Uh, maybe we should collaborate. And then I drop an email. I drop an email, say, would you be interested in a concerto, a trombone concerto, you know? Oh my god, I think I know this. The, yeah. the, the concert yeah. happened in Nafa. Yes, 
I know this. Yes, yes, yes. I was playing. I was actually playing. Yeah, so it's the Trombo Concerto uh, in Nafa. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, excellent. That was uh, a great opportunity that, you know, it just came from an email that I, I just wanted to reconnect. And so I, I just met him at a, at a bar after, like I just met him after drinks after rehearsal. Yeah, so it just happened. And another, um, so, you know, back to the discussion about how um, your music does not have to be in a concert hall. Your music can be in, you know, living rooms. It can be performed, you know, just like the way Schubert, Schubert, Schubert has his music performed in living rooms. Uh, yeah. It, it, so, you know, chamber music concerts, very intimate, like invite the, uh, patrons, his patrons and, uh, you know, just a very intimate get together. Music does not have to be in concert halls. Everybody thinks that classical mm. music has to be concert halls, but it can be so many forms. We, we just talked about video games and theater. Yeah. And, yeah. So music can be living rooms and it can also just be a studio. You can just record your music on, uh, you know, video cameras, good, good um, audio. Just record it in a studio, put it online. That is your online concert. And yeah. um, so the reason I brought this out was I was at a, I was, I was actually attending a concert and we were, uh, my, my professor, my professor, uh, professor Ian Krauss, he's a uh, Armenian requiem, a huge work, uh, about nine, I think it's 90 minutes or two hours, a huge, uh, Armenian requiem. Uh, she, she's a poet. So, you know, we just casually chat. Oh, she, oh, she's a poet. And, uh, we, you know, we just exchange a few emails. You know, just an audience, a fellow audience sitting next to you in a concert. And after that, we had an email exchange and we, f we decided to meet up again uh, at a cafe and started discussing because poetry and music, how can we put them together? So what happened was we actually decided to go the online, uh, the online concert way. So I, I got uh, Gabriel Ho, uh, fantastic pianist and uh, Wendy Woon who's a mezzo uh, soprano sorry not mezzo soprano soprano Wendy Woon soprano recorded it and posted it online so we I decided to use the YouTube as my online concert so uh, it just be more creative about uh, just be more creative about ways that music can be shared and performed and uh, it does not have to be a concert hall and also be be open about collaborations because uh, it, it collaborations can happen when you least expect when you least expect uh, yeah when you try really hard you try to get conductors you try to reach out it may not happen and then you're sitting next to an audience in a concert <laughs> and it happens yeah so just just um just don't be discouraged when things don't, you know, collaborations don't happen, but just keep an open, uh, keep an open mind, I, I would say, yeah. How do you currently financially and artistically sustain your career? It's fairly straightforward. If you are a composer watching this, uh, definitely you are also a musician. Uh, if you are a musician, definitely keep teaching. Uh, if you can teach, that's the best. It's a very stable income, as we know. Uh, faculty position, uh, teaching. I, I have a day job. So my day job, I, as I said, uh, I'm, a, I'm a scientist, uh, just like Borodin. Borodin is a <coughs> Alexander, uh, Alex I think it's, yeah, Alexander Borodin, Russian chemist. Uh, we have uh, Yanis Zernakis, which is, uh, who is an uh, architect. architect. Uh, so he used a lot of math formulas. Yeah, so... Yeah. If you do not have a second career, uh, if you do not have a second career teaching music, uh, it's it's a very unstable career as a composer. Uh, definitely, definitely look at video games, theater, dance, film, photography, whatever ways that you can collaborate. Um, be if if you are in an early stage career. Look for similar other people in early stage career. They they do not they are trying to build their CVs. You are also trying to build your CV and 
it's the best time to work with these people. Your your contacts in your university would be very important. I I stay in touch with people from my music school uh, school days, and I I still keep in touch occasionally. Just drop an email, just drop a message. You never know the streams of income that you know you can come in. Uh, you can bring in with collaborations. Uh, do not do it alone. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's just very tough to do it alone. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. So look for places where new music is a must. Uh, new music is required. And um. Internships. When you do, if you have summer internships, uh, it's it's very good to shadow. It's very good to shadow someone who's experienced. Uh, for example, you could shadow a famous uh, film composer just as an intern and you never know what referral you can get. So you may be referred um, after graduation, you may get a good position and you will start rising. So internships, uh, you know, just attend events and pass your, attend events, pass your name cards, just pass your name card around. Um, it is a very tough career. Mm -hmm. It is a very tough career, but I would say it's very rewarding. Uh, and enjoy the enjoy the creative process. It's it's most important. Enjoy the creative process of creating. Uh, this is a very tough career. Uh, it's very tough financially. You have to pay your loans. You have to pay your rent. I know it's stressful. It is a tough career, but never ever give up. 